Westminster hosted Manchester Valley on Friday, February 25th in a Class 3A East Region Boys Basketball quarterfinal, where the Mavericks were looking to beat the Owls for the first time this season. The Owls won both regular season matchups over the last few weeks. It's a low-scoring first half, and the Mavs are on top thanks in part to this short-range jumper from Brendan Luddy with 2 minutes and 26 seconds to play in the half. Man Valley maintains a 22-11 lead at the break. The Owls trail by 15 points late in the quarter when Patrick Haynes gets an inbounds pass and knocks down a three-pointer. Westminster tries to get a rally going, down 35-23. And here come the Owls. Liam Long misses a free throw with 20 seconds to go, and his team trailing 41-38. But the rebound comes back to Long, and he drains a three-pointer from the top of the arc. We're tied 41 all and heading to overtime. Man Valley strikes first in overtime. It's Will Cuneo from the free throw line with a bank shot. Mavs back on top by two. The Owls trail 45-41 when Billy Hyatt-Odovic drives the lane for a basket and the foul. His free throw makes it 45-44 with one minute and 36 seconds to go in overtime. Man Valley responds. The Mavericks work the ball around Westminster's zone defense and Luddy lines up a three that swishes the net. Mavs lead 48-44 with one minute and six seconds to play after Luddy's huge shot. The Owls are in desperation mode with time ticking away and Haynes connects on a three-pointer that brings the home team within two at 50-48 and they got one more shot after a Manchester Valley turnover. But Long's three-point heave in the final seconds comes up short, and the Mavericks hang on. Final score is Man Valley 50, Westminster 58. Markel Brown leads the Mavs with the 16 points and 14 rebounds, and Xavier Grog adds eight points, five boards, and four assists. Cuneo scores 10 points for the Mavs, who improves to five and 17. Long finishes with a game-high 18 points, and Haynes scores 11 for the Owls, who end their season with a 4-16 record. Want more local sports coverage? Be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.